Hey guys, Rock and Robo here with another Hero Coliseum video. So I'm recording this after the <laughs> it'll be after the summons video that will be recorded tomorrow. So if you're confused, I don't blame you. Basically, I've done all my summoning, done two videos on it. I did a bunch of summoning after. Funnily enough, I ended up getting rarer stuff after recording, which is uh, about right. But I thought I'd do a video this evening. Um, I'm not sure when this will be uploaded. It'll be sometime this evening, my time. I uh, just wanted to show off some of the new figures, so we're going to go with deck number three. So it's all new figures, five new figures, and there are some really cool figures and very interesting strats that could be uh, developed with them, so hoping to uh, show off how good some of them are right here. Right, so we are running Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta Evolved, who can be a bit of a beast because he can gain attack and speed and quite a lot of it so he's going to be dangerous the new Gogeta who I'm still not entirely sure what his purpose is but I can't wait to see the new Goku Ultra Instinct so he won't go down yet I don't think Ribrian of course the greatest character to ever exist in Dragon Ball who is pretty damn tanky so she should be quite a, uh, a force and then Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Vegeta evolved and this figure is pretty damn good it's the one got final explosion as his ultimate so I'd like to get that off at some point but he boosts his own attack and speed reduces the damage the opponent does so my plan is um, uh, let's let's risk that okay that's fine this boosts Vegeta's attack and speed, so he has over 10,000 attack <laughs> right now. <laughs> Look at his speed, though. That's not bad for a figure that's only got about 3,000, I think, at the minute. I still get outsped, which kind of sucks, but... Can you live this, Vegeta? Hopefully you can. Yeah, you can. I can't wait to see the Retribution, though, because he is going to blow Piccolo to hell. He really is. Uh, that's not going to be enough to take me below uh, 50%. That's a shame. Ow. Oh, no, none of these figures rely on me being below 50%, do they? How much did you do? 21,352 damage. Okay. Vegeta, you need to calm the hell down. Damn, that is a scary amount of damage. Ribrian, you go down, and the Vegeta. Ribrian takes um, minus 10% damage, and she does 20% extra, and she buffs um, her allies as well. So let's go with that this turn. I don't mind. Ribrian can survive that. She is damn tanky. Like, she is just a complete brute. And we outspeed. I really like the new Vegeta's. Oh, shit. I misclicked. I was going for the 300, but I didn't pay attention. Oh, that sucks. Let's see how much this does then. Probably about 700. 900, okay. Please say you live this Vegeta. I'd be really gutted if I lose you in such a stupid manner. God damn it. I threw him away. He shouldn't have died there. I feel so bad about that. Holy moly. She did a lot more than I expected her to. Ribrian, kill her. Damn it. You don't have enough attack, unfortunately. It's a shame that both the new Vegeta figures have the same animation. I thought they'd have done something different, but... A bit annoying, but his pose is just perfect. Like, that figure looks amazing. Oh, man. You just got absolutely wrecked, didn't you, Ribrian? Um, There's new uh, character skills as well, which are kind of annoying. Right, Gogeta. And uh, we'll put Ultra Instinct Goku down. I didn't actually have... Enough EXP to level up my two new Ultra Instinct figures, so they're the two that sort of took the the sacrifice, so to speak. It's nice to have new free battles, though. Sort of uh, 
I was expecting them, but you know, you tend to get used to dis disappointments with uh, <laughs> this franchise, so that's some good speed there. And we go first, which means that Gogeta's defense gets buffed. He is fast as hell, this new Gogeta. He is, if you um, get dupes of him, he's the new 01 skill user, I think. I didn't actually pay attention to his trigger squares then. Did I even put him on one of them? Thank God for that. Yeah, this version of UI Goku doesn't hit very hard to begin with. He only has something like 3,500 attack. The other one hits harder. And it is leveled up a bit more. Alright, come on, Vegeta. Blow him away. Wow, that was really underwhelming. And you didn't kill him. Really? You're making this a lot harder than it needs to be, Vegeta. You should be able to live this right, though. You can live this freezer figure, I'm sure of it. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I'm dubious now. I'm wor I'm worried that sort of things will die when they shouldn't. But we have our ultimate. So who is the best candidate? Oh. I think there's only one choice, isn't there? Yeah, I did put him on a trigger square. Uh, it's got to be Vegeta to ult, hasn't it? We'll go first. We'll kill a figure each. Awesome. And then Vegeta gets the final explosion freezer straight to hell. Wonderful. I don't think there's a better way this battle could have ended, is there? There we go. We go first. G, G Android 17. Not the hardest free battle, although I was surprised how hard a couple of his figures hit, so uh, credit to it. You just don't have a lot of attack, do you, Gogeta? Yeah, this one is definitely the 01 skill user, although the other one isn't tremendously powerful. He's much more bulky. Oh, come on, Goku. Then again, I'm getting a thousand knocked off my attack because of that Vegeta figure, so it's just like, as much as he's boosting his attack, Vegeta's just saying, no, screw you, no attack. Alright, here we go. I've been wanting to see this as soon as the figure got released. Oh, oh, that's nice. I like that. I like that a lot. Does Vegeta's health not go down with that as well? Interesting. Makes him a lot better than Margin Vegeta. By the way, it was a very underwhelming ultimate, but you know what? It looked cool. That was the main thing we were going for. So, some of those figures, um, they certainly pulled their weight. I say that... No, I don't want to use that. This Vegeta figure is amazing. Like, I run it like that. Because if you can get that off first turn... I mean, it's amazing, because he gets... You get your plus 700 for that. You're getting uh, plus 1,000 to your attack and speed for the turn, and then plus 1,000 in speed because he's on his own. Had I known that this was his ability when you limit break him, I probably would have put all his dupes into speed, because then he definitely would be uh, crushing it as an O1 skill user. Uh, Ribrian... I think has good potential. Um, the amount of damage she took was surprising, considering she has 2100 defense. But I think a deck with um, speed Vados could be uh, quite dangerous with her, because let's face it, she's not going to take much damage. That Vegeta, I like the theory behind it, but it just doesn't seem. It didn't seem to hit very hard, and it didn't seem. It doesn't seem very tanky. I'm not sure what its role exactly is, but it looks cool. Gogeta I'm still not exactly convinced on. He looks good, but I mean, his, his ability is weird. So, I'll use him a bit more though. And uh, there's Ultra Instinct Goku. But we'll use this deck this time. This is a slow deck, a traditional up second skill deck. And we'll use it against, I think it's Jiren. By the way, Jiren has a cool figure as well, an SR one. Pretty good. Um, I'm using the Kefla figure in this deck, I think. Because there's two, obviously with each one there's two of them. The Kefla figure that um, you see in the summons video is absolute dog shit. But the one in this one is actually really good for a rare figure. So, um, right. You're running a lot of the new figures as well. Um, 
Oh, you have 01 skills on that Jiren. That's kind of scary, and then... Oof. Um, let's see if the strat I wanted to run will work. Oh, God, Freezer, you'll get blown away if you go somewhere on your own. Oh, uh, the problem is that none of, th none of the things in this deck are particularly tanky. So, we've got to kind of use our heads here. Um, let's... Let's go with that. Hit is incredibly tanky. He has a lot of defense and he has a good deal of health as well. Thanks to my dupes. So we will happily go second here. Because that will boost up uh, everyone's stats. With the uh, uh, up seconds. I think 17 will die. Yeah, he should die. And Freezer, Golden Freezer will die as well. So... That hurt quite a bit, actually. Let's see what your animations are. This was the main point as well, seeing new animations, but they're reusing ones for the other figures, which is a bit disappointing. Oh, wow! Um, <laughs> I didn't expect him to do that much damage. How much could... Can you take this hit? Holy crap! That's not good. Because that's my tank down the toilet already. And Kefla didn't get the kill. I mean, at least we killed Freezer, but at what cost? Ah, <laughs> oh dear, that's not good. The thing is, I'm running the new figures on their own when they need to be run with the other uh, new figures. Ah, uh, oh, not other new figures, with older figures. Um, right, so, how do we do this without dying this turn? Because he's going to outspeed me. There is nothing we can do about that. And Hit is too battered now to actually do anything. Kefla dies. That's an unfortunate fact, but... God damn it, I think, I think I will actually lose this one because there is no way we are tanking all of this damage. Like, Hit is dead. <laughs> Golden Freezer is dead. Comes to down to... I suppose, I mean, Kefla should... If Kefla lives, she'll kill something, but, I mean, it's a big if. Please, Freezer, tank this. I don't think he can. He can. Freezer tank that. There's a chance. It's a slow one, but there's a chance. So, we have our ultimate. But, um... I don't really know what we can do with it. <laughs> Please counter, Kefla. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, we have our ultimate, but there's not a lot I can do with it. Because <laughs> neither, neither of these can take a punch. I mean, can you do it, Kefla? If Kefla gets the ult, we can win, but... It's reliant on her being able to live to get the ult. Broly's dead, unfortunately. Yeah, this deck, I used too many things that didn't have very much health. Like, Broly and Kefla both have no health. And the Golden Freezer's not tanky, so... Come on, you can tank this. <laughs> God, he does so much damage. Yeah, Broly, you're dead. It doesn't matter how much... Yeah. He didn't take as much as I expected, but... <laughs> I don't think Kefla can live this. No. <laughs> okay, so that deck sucks. But that doesn't entirely surprise me, considering none of them had any health, speed, or defense. So, <laughs> it was just like an... It was a disaster waiting to happen. 
Kefla, you're not going to cut it. Unfortunately, you're just not going to be good enough. Golden Freezer, I think, has potential in the right deck, but this is certainly not it. <laughs> uh, these guys didn't really get a chance to show off what they can do, so... Um, who can we chuck in here to change things up a little bit? Um, these guys aren't leveled up, that's the problem. I've got the other Vegeta version, so he can go in there. Let's... I don't have another one of them, do I? Do I have a defense up? I do have that. Um, I'm just trying to think what I'm actually trying to achieve here, because I don't have another attack up 01. Um, where's my... There we go. Broly. Um, give me that. No. Give me that. Thank you. <laughs> right. I think a common strat is going to end up being 01 skilling with this goddamn Vegeta figure, because he's pretty powerful. That one's not leveled up. <laughs> that, that Gogeta is useless. Um, these are the Jiren figures. They're kind. Uh, he's kind of good. He's kind of place for seven hundred on defense. Could make quite a tanky guy out of these, couldn't you? Um, and to own speed. That's a very odd obsession. A lot of these figures have this obsession with speed. I don't quite get it either. Um, this hit, hit hits pretty hard. Um, let's throw Ribrian in there, why not? Alright, round two. Um, that was Jiren, wasn't it? It kicked my ass. Round two, I actually have some better figures in there this time. <laughs> I am disappointed that the Kefla wasn't used as a an SR to um, limit break into the older... You are figure. I'm sure it would have been a hard thing to program, but come on. Right. Vegeta can live anything that punches him, let's be honest. <laughs> I say as he gets attacked by goddamn Jiren. He should still be able to live this. He's going to have bloody 4,000 defense. Oh, and we outspeed anyway, so... There we go, 35. I think this would be a good strategy to use him on first turns against Piccolo decks. With this setup, possibly this version of Vegeta. How much damage does he do? This Vegeta hits pretty hard as well. You stick him back middle on the front turn, he's going to blow up whatever's in front of him. Especially because everybody's still going to rely on, on um, up second decks. Ow! That hurt. That freezer hurt. <laughs> Alright, Vegeta, you want to tag out now? I think the other one is better for it, but this one... This one's certainly got his skill... Hang on, is that a permanent? That's repeatable. Okay, now I see... I didn't realise it was repeatable. Okay. I know the proper way to use freezer now. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Basically, he needs to sit behind a Vados or something and just cripple your opponent's attack every turn. I see. I should have been putting him down for turn one. That's my bad. Actually, stick him behind... Yeah, stick him behind a Vados. Your opponent's going to struggle. Or even Ribrian, actually. Stick him behind Ribrian. Speaking of, I don't know how well she's going to tank this because she's got two people hitting her. She has a lot of defense, but... How much is this going to do, Ribrian? Okay, she might be able to live it. I think Freezer does hit a little bit harder, though, so... Nice one hit. Can you live this, Ribrian, please? No. <laughs> that Freezer hits like a truck. I mean, I know it's a, a broken UR version of a rare figure that the game gets, but... Oh, nice one, Goku. I need to get these new figures uh, leveled up. Because uh, they, they could hit pretty hard, these new UI figures. How much can you do, Buren? Not much. Not really what I have what I envisage, envisage this, this hit. God damn it, get your words right. It's not what I think this hit is going to be used for. It's going to be used for sort of his ability to 
take away people's defenses, tanking us. The other one can hit pretty damn hard, but... This one? Nah, that's not what he's there for. I think he's, it's another one. If you throw him down with a Vados, I mean, he's going to be hard to kill. <laughs> I admit, I'd break it by adding another thousand to his defense with those two, but still. Time skip slash Molotov. Interesting. <laughs> Godly display. Gigantic roar. Also, that Broly... We all know what that face is actually representing. Broly has just stepped on a Lego barefoot. That's what it is. A Lego brick has caused him to make that face. We've all done it. Um, right, we'll stick you there. You there. And we'll stick the Vegeta figure down there. I do like that new Vegeta. The one I've got sitting in the back there. That is a pretty nasty figure. Also, uh, prepare... Oh, come on. No, no, not on the... <sighs> it shafted me on that turn. And I really didn't need it to. Right, Vegeta should be able to blow away Freezer here. Although he doesn't have any skills, does he? Because he's got all up 01 skills, yeah. Oh, well done, Vegeta. Look at the colours on the new Vegeta figure, by the way. I mean, that is really nice. Okay, that's, uh, that's fine. Goku's getting hit Jiren again. Great new animations, guys. You you really couldn't have put a bit of effort into it, could you? Same with Broly. Oh, no. That's different. You know, considering we've got this freezer fucking us over, we're doing pretty well. I need to make a deck where I properly use the golden freezer. I, I didn't read it properly. I thought it was just for the turn, but it's actually repeatable. Holy crap, calm down at 17. Oh, okay, it's GG. Wait, does he have 01 skills on that? He does. Doesn't matter. My Vegeta's faster. There we go. We'll get to watch a different Vegeta win the battle this time. Not needed, but I'll take it. Okay, this has been pretty cool. Some of these figures are really good. Some of them are not so good. Um, I do like this Vegeta. I think he could become quite a, a mainstay in people's teams because of what you can do. I mean, <laughs> you've seen the damage that these two do. How much can you hit for here? Oh. Oh, Jesus. That's actually pretty damn nice. That was a pretty cool ultimate. They've put a lot of work into the two Vegeta figures here. I suppose I better use the God one in a video sooner or later, but I haven't leveled that one up at all. Oh, we got two figure coupons as well. Well, no, I don't want to retry. I didn't want to retry. Also, fun fact, I managed to get the Toa figure that I needed. I, uh, I got the other one, the attack and speed one, or whatever the hell you want to call it. I just need the Kefla figure from that set. And uh, I'll have the, the lot of the previous ones, because... Uh, figure collection. Here we go. Four hundred. I still need 16, so I still need all of them, really. They're rare. They're, I bet they're ends, isn't they, or something. But I have spent 12,000... TP medals that I'd accumulated to get all these figures, and it's amazing how many I still don't have. That is such a disgusting pose. I just don't like that. Now, like I say, these two here have really impressed me. The uh, evolved Super Saiyan God, or Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. Why couldn't you have given them different names? I mean, come on. I'm interested, I want to know what that one looks like, sort of, its stats. Because that one just doesn't do it for me. Looks cool, not quite good enough, I don't think. Whereas, I mean, these, both of these have got a use, I think. So, they're pretty good. This this figure, mm, I'm not too I'm not too sure on that. And the Gogetas are weird, but I'm sure they'll, uh, they'll find their place. I'd say getting defense if you go first and speed if you go second is very strange. Uh, I don't know what these figures are bound to be, whether they're more tournament of power people, I don't know. 
But they're probably N's and R's, which is why maybe I haven't gotten them yet. Disappointing for them. I'm just glad that we got a good Ribrian figure. I was really worried that um, they were going to be complete crap, because those two aren't great. But this Ribrian seems pretty good. Need to see that one. Maybe that will have more health and less speed or something? I don't know. I'd like to see it, though, because I think that could be quite a trolly little figure. But uh, that was good. That was good. Got to show off some decent figures there and some uh, some questionable ones. But, yeah. You, my friend, are a very, very, very good figure from what I've seen thus far. So uh, I'm going to be uh, using that on quite a regular basis. Might keep this as an 01 skill user like this for first turns, because like I say, you stick it down the middle. So you've got something with reasonable speed that can just blow away your opponent's piccolo or whatever the hell he's going to stick down the middle first turn. Hell, just stick him out on the left and he'll take out the Vados. Because he's got, he's got 9,400 attack with that, doubled to 18,800 attack. I don't care how good your Vados is, it's dying. But anyway, I've uh, kept you here long enough. I hope you've enjoyed seeing some of the new figures. Some of them are pretty good, some of them not so good. And one of them I didn't fully understand, but I do now, so you're going to be finding a place in some decks. But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have, please hit that like button and subscribe for more of my Hero Coliseum videos. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so you get notification when I upload. And I'll see you all next time.